what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city for today i got a very very interesting topic for you guys today i'll be talking about call of duty black ops 3 versus the recently released overwatch and um well the fanboys out there whoever is watching this you better not get butt hurt because after all of this i'm pretty sure i will get some dislikes so um anyways these two games, man, they have been a hell of a time. I've uploaded so many videos about these games, except for Overwatch, though, because I barely started recently. So um, please hold on that. And if you guys think I suck in Overwatch, make sure you watch the gameplay in the background, because I did manage to go 30 kills with one death in this whole game session. So um, if you guys think I suck in Overwatch, please keep your eyes on the gameplay. And for those people who are on the Black Ops side and on the Black Ops 3 side, make sure you watch my old videos so you guys can see, you know, if I'm good in Black Ops 3 or not. Because I'm pretty sure I posted like around four different 100 plus kills gameplays and a bunch of different 80 plus kills gameplays. So, yeah, I'm thinking I'm pretty much decent in Black Ops 3. So with all my experience, with all my history with Call of Duty, especially like for six plus years, I mean, I started Call of Duty like back in Black Ops 1. Um, I think I can finally compare these two games. Except for Overwatch, I'm not sure if 28 hours is enough, but, um, you know, you guys get my point, you know, my review day, when I reviewed this game of Overwatch, I think I only had like around 14 hours, but after a few days, I'm thinking, you know, after 28 hours, I can pretty much start comparing it to other games. So, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3 versus Overwatch, who takes the cake, who takes the W, and right off the beginning, guys, right off the fucking bat, yes, in the beginning of the fucking video, I will say this, Overwatch takes the cake. You know, they take the W over Black Ops 3. You see, let me start out with Black Ops 3, because I know some of you guys want to hear my opinion about that game since I mostly showed Black Ops 3 throughout the whole year. Um, Black Ops 3, after so many hours of playing the game, I can tell you this. The players of Call of Duty do not care about the objectives. And that was my number one concern since day one, since Black Ops 1, actually. A lot of the Call of Duty players do not care about the objectives. The Call of Duty players care about themselves, care about the KD, care about getting a feed or a quaddy with the quick scoping skills they have. You know, it's it's ridiculous to be honest because you know some of the games in Ground War like Kill Confirm, uh, you know, Safeguard and uh, Domination, they require some objectives, and uh, you know, in order for you to win, it requires you to capture the objectives or transport some of the objectives and players in call of duty don't tend to do that they don't care about that all they care is about themselves i'm telling you and some of them are youtubers and they only care about you know posting up you know some quad feeds or whatever with the quick scoping things they do you know that's all they care about they don't care about you they don't care about the teammates which is pretty sad man because you know most of the call of duty players out there really want to win but with these kinds of players in the game and with campers also you know just waiting inside the rooms with shotguns i mean how are you gonna win like that how is that even fun? And then it's just left, it just leaves me doing everything by myself. Like I'm over here capturing the B flag by myself and that's pretty much how I find myself all the time in, in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, just by myself capturing the B flag while my teammates are up there in the freaking roof just trying to quick scope. That's the biggest problem that I saw with Black Ops 3. And then I jump into Overwatch on release day I was like, wow, you know, the players here are super fucking different compared to Black Ops 3. People are constantly rushing into the objective, trying to win. You see, there's some snipers here and there, but they're not like, like all the way to the back. They actually also rush in into the freaking base that you're supposed to capture. And I was surprised about that because I was like, wow, you know, I wish Call of Duty can do this too. And they don't to be Call of Duty players don't do it. So Overwatch players, man, you got my respects, man. Everybody who's out there, even the noobs are doing pretty good. Man, what the fuck? And then also this game of Overwatch, I mean, it's always refreshing. I even, re I even mentioned this in my review. I said, every character is different. And in order for you to win, you must choose the correct characters. Which means you will never, ever, ever always play as the same character every single game that you play. Because it's also up to your teammates to choose the correct characters. If they don't choose the correct ones, if nobody is, if the team doesn't have a support player, you can have to be the one. So, um, I mean, that's the best way to win, and people comply with that. You know, people cooperate, and that's one thing that Call of Duty is missing. Nobody cooperates with them with together at all. Maybe with a little bit of spy planes here and there, but that's it. People can't for kill streaks. I think this is one point take away the kill streaks, or I don't know, make it like Call of Duty Four again. You know, just three kill streaks, and that's it. Let's see how many people actually rush to, towards the objectives to win the game. So, um, 
So yeah, man, that's the difference between these two games. People in Overwatch actually play the objectives, while people in Call of Duty, all they care is about themselves. So that's how I see it, and that's my experience with both games so far, especially with Overwatch since it's a recent release game. And after two weeks, I can tell you, they love playing the objectives with whatever characters they choose. Slow, fast, uh, there's only one melee character, uh, by the way, because I know some of you guys are going to be saying like, oh, it's not the same thing, you know, there's a melee character right there. I know, there's one guy with a fucking hammer, while the rest of the characters are carrying a gun, so... You can still say it's still an FPS. So, um, after all this debacle, guys, I would just say that Overwatch is just more fun, more refreshing. It offers you more when you're playing the game. Even though it does have a low amount of content, it does have more of a fun factor compared to Black Ops 3. So you don't have to deal with quick scopes or none of that. You just go straight up, guns blazing out there, and it's, it's super fun. So, um, yeah, I consider Overwatch is better than Black Ops 3. So that's it, guys. If you guys think something else, make sure to leave it in the comment section. Tell me your opinions about this. Is Black Ops 3 better than Overwatch or Overwatch better than Black Ops 3?